around the world, but I ain't never met a vibe like you. We can get gone, baby girl. We can do the dash in the cool. But we ain't worried about the world. We just vibe, and this is me and you. But we ain't worried about the haters, but they worry. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Elisa Marie. If you're new, welcome, girl. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, girl, hey, hey, boy, hey. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> but yeah, so y'all, what's going on? What's going on? So, this is my second chit chat, get ready with me, that I posted this year. I just enjoyed filming the last one that I made. I was like, let me just talk to y'all. Let me, let me talk to the girls, okay? Because I don't know if you guys have seen on my Instagram, but your girl is now a realtor. <gasps> Who's calling me? Oh, hold on y'all, hold on y'all, money calling. Hello? Okay y'all, I'm back, I'm back. So like I was saying, yeah, so I just started my career as a realtor here in Charlotte and y'all, I absolutely love it. Everyone I've met this week have honestly just been amazing. Like I've met some really, really amazing people since I've started real estate. And I ain't gonna lie y'all, it's hard work, like it's not, it's not easy at all, but I am just so grateful for this opportunity. And I literally encourage everyone to get into real estate. Like if you have the personality for it, if you don't mind dealing with people, if you're outgoing, like 100%, go ahead. But yeah, how have you guys been doing? I've been hanging in there, just staying motivated. Um, my homegirl, Kendall, she is in town this weekend so we're, we are going out to one of my favorite hookah lounges here in the city seriously but anyways let's get into these topics so the first topic i would like to discuss is how to make and maintain friendships in your 20s so first and foremost i feel like guys we have to do some self-reflecting here everyone always say like they may feel like they don't have no friends or all oh, this, but I think when it's important when you are evaluating your friendships, you have to ask yourself, are you even a good friend to others? Do you show up for people? Because I remember at one point in time in my life, I'm gonna be honest, like I felt very lonely and I felt like I didn't have any friends. But at that time, I wasn't necessarily the best friend myself to people. And after I started to actually pour into my friendships and become a better friend and be a better friend, be a better sister, that's when I started to attract better people in my life and more equally yoked friendships. So if you want a friend, you have to be a friend. Like friendships are not just one-sided. And honestly, y'all, I can truly say I have met some amazing women within my 20s and I'm so grateful for them. For like the last couple of years, I've met some really, really great women in my life um, that show up for me, vice versa. And yeah, I love that. Like I have really broadened my friendships for sure and expanded my network and my circle. And I love that. Like at the end of the day, we all need community. Um, it truly takes a village. And just because I made new friends does not mean that like I switched up on my old friends. Like I'm still really good friends with my childhood friends, Brianna, Taylor. Me and Taylor, we have been best friends since third grade. Love her. Um, and me and Taylor, we are like totally opposite. Like we have totally different type of personalities. But the fact that we've been able to maintain our friendships is absolutely beautiful. And I feel like when it comes to friends, as I'm getting noticed that my friendships have honestly gotten better the less that I've been. Like, and it's crazy because I know that's how I'm growing up. I think it's important to just, you know, then less to your friends. I feel like as you get older, like you kind of want to tell people, like I'm always going to tell my friends to tea. Like I'm always going to tell my friends like i'm gonna be honest with them like i'm not gonna be like oh like i got everything figured out like if i'm pissed off about something like i'm gonna be honest and candid in my friendships but i don't call my friends 
after every little thing that happens to me because i feel like at the end of the day like we're all going through our own stuff we all trying to figure out our own lives sometimes people just don't want to hear that honestly like if you need to vent go to therapy talk to god journal so the older that i get the less that i actually do vent and tell them to meeting new friends if you want to do that you can meet new friends through church um the gym bumble bff i haven't used like a, a app to make a friend um instagram like you can shoot your shot with girls you know if you feel like a girl is pretty like oh my god like you're pretty or but don't go about it like you only want to be her friend because you think she's pretty like excuse me if you feel like you guys like have similar interests you know like just go about it that way i would say but don't try to befriend people because you like, oh, I'm cute, you cute. No, that's weird. But that's how I've made friends. I've also made friends through mutual friends at like different events. Um, if I feel like a girl seems like a nice person and I feel like we have stuff in common, like I don't mind going up to her, giving her her flowers. Like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I think such and such or, you know, just start like literally, I remember one time I feel like I'm rambling now. Literally, I'm, one time I remember I was at an event and I was just sitting at a table and I just started talking to someone. And we just started talking about YouTube. And then we realized like, oh, we have a, kind of a lot of stuff in common. We happen to be like the same sign. And I was like, oh, okay, like you seem cool. Like let's start hanging out. So then I formed a friendship that way. Like literally just talking to people and just being friendly, y'all. That's how you form friendships in your 20s. You literally have to open your mouth and talk and seem approachable. It's not, I don't think it's really that complicated. I don't know. It's just kind of always been pretty easy, but I feel like far as like how to maintain a friendship, um, that's when the real work comes into play. Like you have to put ego aside. You have to put pride aside. Even if you feel like, you know, dang, like I'm only the, I'm only the person, you know, I feel like it's, if you feel like the friendship is one sided, like you have to be like, okay, um, communicate that with your friend like dang girl like i don't i only hear from you if i reach out to you like i feel like with friendships it's really important to communicate your needs because no one is a mind reader and we're all super busy we're all working towards our goals so communicate what you want and the expectation that you have for your friendship in order to maintain it simple as that like it all falls back to communication friendships are just like relationships like they're very similar. The only thing is I'm just not, you know, doing all that with you, but they're still super important. So that's how I've been able to maintain my friendships. And also I feel like it's important to establish, um, like if your friend is feeling some type of way, like it's important to establish, like if your friend is upset or with something, if you feel like your friend is adding different, like just have the conversation. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I'm just so like direct all the time. Um, I feel like I pick and choose who I wanna resolve conflict with when it comes to friendships. Like, if I feel like the friendship is honestly worth it and if I feel like it's a genuine friendship, then I'll be more willing to like put in a little extra work to like maintain that relationship. But if I feel like, oh, like it was just an acquaintanceship and like shit get a little weird, then I probably won't go out my way. Cause at the end of the day, like I kind of know who my tribe is. Um, and I know like who shows up for me. I know like who genuinely cares about me. So yeah. Also when it comes to friendships, I feel like it is really important to categorize your friends like it's definitely different levels and okay. tiers so now i'm about to start doing my hair um y'all i haven't added too much heat to my leave out girl like i hate that for me hmm it hasn't really broken off but I absolutely love the sewing. Like she really ate with this for real. Okay, anyways, what's some more dating eggs? Definitely someone that tries to like talk about um, SCX 
too prematurely yeah that will get you cut off real quick like don't even do that with me for real that is a huge it um also people that try to invite they stuff over to your house huge dating ick i just feel like if a woman wanted you to be in her space she would gladly and happily invite you over like you don't have to try to invite yourself over that is so tacky and just very distasteful i feel like as a man like why are you trying to do that another ick i would say is someone that act like they don't know how to plan a date at this big age why are you why are you asking me what i want to do like can you not be a leader can you not lead see and then that's another thing like ill another ick men that always want to argue about 50 50 i just feel like if a man really got money like he not really about to sit here and try to go back and forth with you about 50 50. like he not he gonna want to provide for you he's gonna let you walk in and be in your feminine era and see me at the stage I'm at in my life, I'm done being Miss Independent. Please spoil me. I am a diesel in distress, okay? Like, I am in my feminine era. Real feminine. You know, it's crazy, because I was literally just saying that. Like, I'm in my feminine era now. And y'all, I, um, I'm not going to say too much, but all I'm going to say is the power of the tongue is real. Like, I am reaping the benefits of being in my feminine era because why not? I feel like men, sometimes they like that. Sometimes they want an ego boost. So yes, I am in my feminine era and I love it here. I absolutely love being in my feminine era. Um, What else do I want to talk about with y'all? Have y'all been following the Meg and Tori situation? First of all, I feel like Meg was shot. We all know that. Everyone is trying to be like, oh, she's a liar. She's this, she's that. Like, get over it. Like, seriously, cut the BS. I feel like if anything, this situation has taught me the importance of not trauma bonding with people and bending your boundaries because like ill and to watch the company you keep because Kelsey is a hater. She clearly has been hating on Meg this entire time. Like, and it's so crazy. Like it really be the people that be your day ones that be hating on you for real. Not saying like it's everyone, but that's what I've gotten from this situation and it's just very sad and i hate that for her like lose, falling out and losing a best friend that sucks it really does suck and i'm speaking from experience seriously like that's honestly one of the worst feelings ever like damn i can't even really rock with you like i want you to but so much stuff could just be resolved through simple communication. But anyways, so I still plan to definitely do YouTube and show more of my personal side on YouTube since, you know, I'm doing real estate now and I converted my personal, my personal Instagram to my real estate page because um, I just don't really see myself trying to create like a separate page and try to build up like I, i'm not about to do all that y'all so on my personal page i will be posting more stuff on real estate you know i appreciate the support in advance but yeah so for like my personal side would definitely be like more youtube and i am going to show more real estate content i literally have like two vlogs um that i need to upload from vlogging this week like being in the office and just showing what it's like to be a realtor um but yeah i'm just super excited for this journey and 
I've just been focused on building my pipeline for 2023. 2023 is honestly going to be my year of elevation spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, all the leads, okay? We elevating all the leads in 2023, okay? <laughs> I look crazy. We elevating all the leads in 2023, period. I'm just so focused on my goals. I hope you guys are too. Like, it is really time to just lock in. Lock in, eliminate the distractions, become more disciplined. Like, it is go time, y'all, for real. Alexa, what time is it? Okay, I'm still doing good on time. Yeah. I need a good flat iron, y'all. I bought this little flat iron from, uh, what was that, Marshalls? Like a few months ago. And it is terrible. It does not give what it needs to give at all. But yeah, so we can talk about, let me see, cause I told Instagram to let me know what to talk about. Let me see if someone else sent me something else to talk about. Oh, Mariah is so sweet. She said such a cute setup. Thank you. She's so sweet. Thank you, girl. Where, where are y'all plan to travel in 2023? I really want to go to Jamaica next year. I would love, love, love to plan a girl's trip to Jamaica. Hopefully, I can get that accomplished next year. Because I would really love to go to Jamaica next year. Like, I need... I have to experience a girl's trip. Like, I haven't really experienced a girl's trip yet. I would love to experience a nice vacation next year. So, hopefully, y'all, I'm manifesting a bay for my vacation, okay? Like, I want to go somewhere really, really nice, somewhere really, really romantic, and somewhere luxury. Luxury vacations only. So, y'all, my hotline is blowing up. Hold on. Okay, hey, y'all. So, I know I ended the vlog a little, well, the video a little abruptly, but... I'm back. So, oh, oh my gosh. Ciao. Anyways, let's get on ready. What was I saying in the last clip? I don't even remember. Anyways, I love the little clip look. I'm about to start running my hair like this. Let's get on ready. So. I had such a great time with Kendall and her lawn sisters. We had a blast. Like, it was a vibe. It was a vibe for sure. My makeup came out so good. I didn't even take pictures for this thumbnail either. I'm still getting the hang of this YouTube stuff, even after doing YouTube for a year. It's okay. But yeah, so let's get on ready. Anyways, yeah, I had such a great vibe. So I went, went out with Kendall and her line sisters. I am an AKA, if you guys didn't know. So, ski reads on my floorboards. Let's, let's fix this light though. Y'all, what was I talking about in the last clip? I don't even remember. 
let's talk about no longer allowing men to ruin potential friendships. Let's talk about that. So, I feel like smart Charlotte, <clears throat> I just feel like it's a very small world in general. And sometimes there may be situations where you guys may run into the same man that you may have dealt with. But you cannot allow that to ruin a potential friendship. Cause I feel like at the end of the day, screw men. They fucking suck. <laughs> they do. So, y'all, I seriously need to get a lash feeling so bad. I just feel like my husband, he won't even like put me in that type of situation. I just feel it. So, it is all it is. But I'm proud of myself. I truly am. I've come a very, very, very long way.